Welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to have a look at Endgame number 17 from the book 100 Endgames You Must Know by Jesus de la Vila. This is a must-read book for all club and chess players who would like to improve the chess endgames. I would leave a link in the description if you would like to purchase this book for yourself. Here, this is an example in which we are discussing queen versus the rook pawn on the seventh rank. This kind of position is generally drawish and I'll explain it to you why. However, there is one exception to this rule which I will discuss at the end of the video. So um, here, white to play, white simply plays king g8 and after queen d8, the rule which we looked at in the previous, ex uh, previous video was the queen has to give checks and then force the uh, king in front of the pawn and after that bring the king. This is not possible in this kind of video. We'll have a look at it. Why? King g7, queen g5, king f7. Here, queen h6, so king g8 is forced. And after that, king, queen g6, the king goes, uh, goes to king h8. And if black king moves, uh, moves one step forward, then it's a stalemate. In this example, we are going to have a look at the same position, but here the king has come forward. And this makes a, a world of difference. And actually here, black can win. And this is the exception I wanted to talk to you. The main reason is the king should be able to control these two squares, which is f7 and g7 very quickly within one move. So how can black win this position? Give a check first. And after that, keep repeating the process until black is able to come to f6. As I, can, as I mentioned before, they can now control these two squares. What happens if white queens and give a check? Then king g6 and there's nothing else white can do. Um, because uh, this square is now protected. It's a checkmate very quickly. The possible continuation is queen h5. There's no other way. Uh, the queen has to be sacrificed and then it's a checkmate. Now, going back to this position, there is another way the author recommends as well, which are these two ways you need to know. Instead of queen e7 check, there's also another way, which is queen f6 check. After king g8, simply give check and then bring the king in forward it's the same technique and after the queen uh, after white queens you simply use the same technique and then it's a win i hope you enjoy this video for more videos like this please like and subscribe and it's bye for now